Hi, my name is Joe. The PoE Power or Ethernet allows your single Ethernet cable to send both power and data to an IP device such like IP camera. But the PoE is limited to about 300 feet. So if you need to run the cable beyond 300 feet, we can use this PoE standard. One PoE standard can repeat another 300 feet. So if you daisy chain these two into the link, totally we got about 900 feet. It would be simple if you just have few runs. Recently, we got a case from one of the customer. He had a multiple link, which required a long run. He doesn't feel comfortable to use the PoE standard because he need to bury everything under the ground. He thought it's going to increase the failure point if you just daisy chain the PoE standard to each of these link. Is there other solution we can have the continual run for multiple link? Yes, we do have that kind of solution. First, let's move the whiteboard and see what is the real situation we are dealing with now. This is the case from the customer. He need to install four cameras around the parking lot. And the distance between this camera to the PoE switch is about 700 feet to 1,000 feet. And if you just use the Cat5 or Cat6 Ethernet cable, he need to daisy chain this PoE standard to each of these links. One link with two PoE standards, totally he got a PoE standard between the cameras and the PoE switch. As we just mentioned, he need to bury everything under the ground. That's why he don't feel comfortable because technically it just increased the failure point. The optional solution is the fiber optic cable, but he may need to add a media converter to each of these cameras. More importantly, he cannot send the power through the fiber optic cable. The fiber optic cable is just the plastic. So he also needs the power source available around each of these cameras. The new solution is we can use the long range PoE switch. What is the long range PoE switch? Now let's move to the workshop and see how the system can be set up. This is the system setup. Here we got 1000 continuous run Cat5 Ethernet cable. One end is being connected to this long range PoE switch. It looks no different from the regular switch, only the first four ports support long range PoE. The maximum distance between this long range PoE port to the edge device is about 1500 feet. As we cannot find any Cat5 or Cat6 cable longer than 1,000 feet, so we're just testing this one. The rest of the four ports just support the regular PoE. And let's move to the camera end. I think you may realize there's one PoE standard sitting here. What's this for? Yes, this, this PoE switch can supply long range up to 1,500 feet. But for the camera, for this one, it's just the regular camera. It cannot return the signal up to 1,500 feet. So this PoE standard just helping the edge device to return the signal up to 1,500 feet. And the second camera is just using the short distance, so there's no need for any PoE standard sitting here. And from here, you can see just the continuum run between the edge and the PoE switch. And the customer doesn't need to bear any PoE standard under the ground. If there's anything go wrong, you just need to go to both ends to check the camera or the PoE standard or the switch. The last thing I think you may consider is about the power. You see, we are trying to have the long run up to 1,000 feet or 1,500 feet. Well, what about the power, the PoE power? You do know, the longer the distance run, the more power loss will be. Don't worry, this long run PoE switch using all the four twist pair to send the power. In the PoE or PoE Plus, only half of the twist pair to send the power. So even for the 1,000 feet, we still can power this infrared Pentel zoom camera. It still has enough power. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question about this setup, please leave your comment section below. See you next time.